Hey there everyone, today we're going to be doing a system test with my Firelight MS9200 UDLS Addressable Fire Alarm Control Panel and my Wheelock SafePath Voice Evacuation Amplifier Panel. And today I have some new devices up on the board which I think will make for a pretty interesting system test. So let me show you what I have. This fire alarm right here is a Wheelock MTS-1575. You can see the model on the back of this duplicate right here. And as you can see, there's some dip switches right here. And what you can do with those is change the tone on this alarm. So this will be set on high-low tone, which is pretty interesting. This right here is a Gentex Commander 3 with the blue strobe. I showed this a lot in the last system test, so definitely go check that out if you want to see it. And we'll see it, uh, at least the strobe flash today. As of right now, it's only set on strobe only. This right here is a Gentex model right here SSPK24WLPR you can pause the video if you want to read the rest of that there and this is a speaker strobe which means there's a speaker on the inside of it and not just a horn the last big change on the system is this device right here this is a system sensor fixed heat detector and I have the box right here and as you can see the model is 5604 and it is fixed 194 degrees Fahrenheit, which basically means at 194 degrees Fahrenheit, this thing will activate and it will permanently activate, which means the head right there will blow off, it will explode out, and it can never be reset. And we are going to be activating this today for its first and only time it will ever be activated in its life. So that'll be pretty interesting to see. Stay tuned for that. First off for the test today, I'm going to activate that blue pull station down there. And that blue pull station, I have it set for a severe weather alert. So let's say you need to alert all the occupants of the building that some bad weather is coming in, whether it's a tornado or a hurricane or something like that. You can pull one of those blue pull stations if that's what it's set for. And we're going to go ahead and activate it. And you will hear the speaker come on. There will be a pre-recorded announcement. And this blue strobe will flash. And that, that'll be it. And notice how the fire strobes will not flash because this is not a fire emergency, this is a severe weather emergency. So, the tornado's coming. Better tell everyone that some severe weather's coming. That failed. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? The National Weather Service has issued a severe weather warning for our area. May I have your attention, please? The National Weather Service has issued a severe weather warning for our area. May I have your attention, please? The National Weather Service has issued a severe weather warning for our area. May I have your attention, please? The National Weather Service has issued a severe weather warning for our area. May I have your attention, please? The National Weather Service has issued a severe weather warning for our area. May I have your attention, please? The National Weather Service has issued a severe weather warning for our area. And as you can see, it's reset. So I got rid of the pre-recorded tones that used to play on the speaker, and it just says the message that, hey, there's some bad weather coming in. All right, now we're going to test the fire alarm side of things. And we're going to do that by activating the heat detector that I mentioned earlier. Now, with this heat detector, I'm going to use a lighter for heat, and I'm going to hold it at the base of the heat detector right here, at this head. And once it reaches 194 degrees Fahrenheit, or 90 degrees Celsius, the heat detector will activate and what will happen is this head will explode out the heat detector will be permanently activated and that will set off the fire alarm system Please, an emergency has been reported in the building. While 
Congress is being verified. Please leave the building and report to the designated assembly area for your group. And there it is. That heat detector is now permanently activated. Well, here's the old heat detector, and I've gone ahead and replaced it with a System Sensor 2400 smoke detector. And that's just so that I can reset the fire alarm control panel. Because if that heat detector stayed there, every time I reset the fire alarm control panel, the system would just reactivate since that heat detector was permanently activated. And now I think we'll go ahead and re-alarm the system with one of these Firelight BG12LXs, and we'll call it a day. So. Which one do you think I should activate? Hmm. I'm thinking we're gonna do that middle one. Haven't done this one in a while. Here we go. Push in, pull down. Alright everyone, the system is now reset. Thank you for watching this system test. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely go check out some of the other videos I have. And have a great day everyone.